Hi, my name is Mark Gordon. I write music for TV, I write music for adverts and films. I also produce music for myself and for other people, and I also am a DJ. I was in a band for probably about six or seven years called Olympic Lifts. Um, I was a DJ in the band and I also managed the band. And because we had had some music that had been used on a couple of TV shows like Sesame Street and Malcolm in the Middle, I kind of thought more about just writing music, building up a studio, working as a producer. The stuff that I do now, it's kind of twofold. In terms of, in terms of the commercial music that I do, I've written for BBC, Channel 4, Sky, and I've been very lucky in that, you know, there's always quite a lot of work for someone who can fulfill the kind of briefs that these people want. The music that I do, I always record pretty much everything live. I like to surround myself with lots and lots of different things and be able to sort of, you know, hit keyboards and make noises and try and try and keep everything fresh. I really want to build up in my studio an archive of interesting analog keyboards, interesting pedals, guitars, old drum machines. It's how I I think, it's how I keep the stuff that I do fresh because I can just approach it and if I'm bored with this sound then I'll just look for something else or plug another keyboard in and I hope that probably makes me you know, constantly able to produce interesting stuff because it doesn't have that flat electronic style. I've had no formal training in music. I literally learned how to do this by being commissioned to do the first couple of pieces that I did. So there was never a scenario where, um, where I was taken in or I worked beneath somebody else. If you want to get into music, you want to get into production or hip hop production, or you need to, you know, you need to, you need to start with the basics. You need to go back to the music you love and the music you want to make, and you need to think about, you know, think about how it was made. And if you if you want to stand out from other people, you need to find, be it, you know, the way I try and do my thing is I have all the old gear and I try and make the interesting noises and I try and keep it live. For other people, it's just all about the way they manipulate the sounds within a track. You just got to find your own little, your little twist, your little take on something, and go with that. If you want to be a music producer for TV, what you need to do is you need to start finding the people who are making short films. You need to start talking to the guys in the student societies, and you just work your way up from there. Once your foot is in the door, then you can kind of call things slightly more in your own terms. But it's just, it's grassroots. That's the way to do it. There will always be an argument that says that you live in a place like Northern Ireland, you really want to make it, you really want to stand up next to the people, you know, around the world who are doing this. You know, there'll be a lot of people who say, yes, you just have to, you have to go away, you have to go to London. But I mean, you know, look at someone like David Holmes. He, you know, he works out of a studio here in Belfast. There will always be people who will stay here and for whom it will mean something to be a Northern Irish person working on a worldwide scale, but based in Northern Ireland and proud of being Northern Irish. Making music is like a drug, and you see, whenever you make something that you're really, really proud of, there's no other feeling, you know, that's like it.